Why do people buy Toyota Tacomas when they don't even like them? Do they just get caught up in the hype of the Tacoma? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. You know, I've been thinking, you know, why do people, some people, buy the Toyota Tacoma when they don't even like it? You know, I've had, it's, it's a growing number of people on the channel dogging the Toyota Tacoma after they've bought it. You know, they have the truck, they tell me they don't like it, they tell me that they're going to get rid of it as soon as possible, it's the worst truck they've ever had. So it gets me wondering, you know, why did they buy it in the first place? You know, I always ask those folks just that. Why did you buy the truck? Did you not test drive it? Did you not take it for a ride? I mean, there's plenty of information out there about them. I mean, just check out my channel. You know, I tell everybody the good and the bad. It's not that I don't like the Tacoma. I love the Toyota Tacoma. I'm on number six or seven. I must love the Tacoma. That or I'm just looking for punishment. I don't know. But I always ask them, you know, didn't you take one for a ride? Didn't you go to the dealership, test drive one? Because it makes no sense to me that some of these folks that have bought the Toyota Tacoma shortly after they've bought the Toyota Tacoma don't like it. And I think there's a couple of reasons for it. I think people get into the market and maybe they do a little bit of light research. In other words, they don't really get into it. They decide they're gonna get a truck, so they just do a quick search on Google or something and and ask, you know, what's the best mid-size truck? And of course, the Tacoma is number one. Uh, so it's gonna come up. It's probably gonna come up many times as being the best mid-size truck out there. Uh, so they run out and buy it from that. You know, those articles always talk about reliability, versatility, what you can do with a Tacoma. And I think it just grabs a lot of people. I think there's some hype out there that a lot of people buy into, even though it's not quite enough to determine whether or not it's the best truck for them. So they do that, they go out, they pick one up, and then they get home with it, and they kind of discover some of the the negatives, I guess, about the Toyota Tacoma. And there are a few. As I said, I am a Toyota Tacoma enthusiast. I mean, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel that I dedicate a lot of time to if I didn't love the Toyota Tacoma. But there are some negatives with it. You know, one of the first ones, of course, is it's a little bit long in the tooth. It, the third generation Tacoma has been around for quite a while. And if you're looking for the latest and greatest, if you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, and I hope that's not why you buy any vehicle, but hey, if that's your thing, you know, the Toyota Tacoma is probably not the truck for you. I mean, there are others out there that are more modern, have more schnaz, more pizzazz to them, you know, have better technology, more up-to-date technology, and just look a little bit more flashy on the interior. Again, the current version of the Tacoma has been around for a long time, so it's not like it's the latest and greatest thing. In my opinion, though, it's still number one. It looks the best and still has enough in it to be relevant, but not for everybody. Next up is uh, fuel economy. You know, we recently have gone through this massive spike in gas prices and of course everybody panics and it's amazing to me how quickly people panic you know i think the news first of all they're to blame they carry everything to the nth degree but as soon as the news comes out with anything negative people go nuts you know it's like the world is ending and that's what happened with these gas prices i mean yeah it's been high it's been high for a little while but the prices have come back down. I paid $3.49 a gallon this morning for premium gas in this Mercedes that I'm driving around right now. It requires premium gas. Not too long ago, maybe a couple, three weeks ago, I paid $5.54. So there's been a substantial drop, two bucks per gallon. I don't think that just because we see a spike, it's time to go crazy and sell everything you have and go buy a Prius. You know, it's just not necessary. But Nonetheless, I think a lot of people are disappointed because the Toyota Tacoma in reality, and of course it depends on how you drive it, does get lower fuel economy than what is stated. You know, keep in mind, when the manufacturer puts out fuel economy numbers, they're doing it in the best possible uh, circumstances that they can get. You know, no wind, 
low humidity, cooler temperatures, flat roads. I mean, everything they can do to get those numbers up so that they can legitimately publish them to try to entice folks that are concerned about fuel economy to run out and buy the product. In this case, the Toyota Tacoma. So you're not gonna have a hypermiler. You know, there are full-size trucks. I hate to say it, but there are full-size trucks that get better fuel economy than our beloved Toyota Tacoma. It's really kind of sad. Um, the way that it drives, the way that it handles, it's, it's fun factor. You know, I wouldn't say the Tacoma isn't a fun truck to drive, it is. There are worse ones out there. I've certainly had worse trucks in the past myself, trucks that were gutless. But we're starting to get to the point where the Tacoma is kind of at the bottom. You know, it doesn't have the acceleration that we love, or at least that I love, uh, without an aftermarket device like the Sprint Booster to get rid of throttle lag. You know, for me, part of the fun of driving any vehicle is that when I hit the gas, it goes. And I know I'm gonna have comments out there. People are gonna tell me, but Rob, it's a truck. Like I should settle for something else because I chose to buy a truck. I don't believe that. You know, there's no reason when I go out and drop 40 grand or more that I shouldn't expect it to be responsive when I hit the gas. Those days are gone. And it's just the way that Toyota designs the vehicle. They've built in throttle lag probably for fuel economy, once again, doing everything they can to get those numbers up. But it reduces the fun factor, the driving experience with the truck. Again, unless you add something like the Sprint Booster, which I highly recommend, it completely transforms the truck. Next up, I do wanna mention before I end this, is the appearance again. Um, I'm not quite sure what people are really looking for. Maybe the current truck buying generation has changed, but as far as I'm concerned, the Toyota Tacoma is still the best looking midsize truck out there. And I have to say, if you've seen the electric version that the, the picture has been kind of floating around on the web, it's that white Toyota Tacoma. It's gonna look awesome when they come out with the next gen. And I think that's something that Toyota needs to do sooner than later. Because it does seem to me from comments that I'm getting and also the availability of the truck due to production problems, parts supplies, all that kind of stuff, that people are buying less of the Tacoma. You know, we have a new Colorado coming out. It looks pretty good. It sounds like it's gonna be pretty good as far as the specs and things that I've seen from it. So Toyota's gonna to have just another competitor out there trying to take another bite out of their sales. And I gotta say, I would hate to see the popularity, the sales numbers of the Toyota Tacoma drop because it has been such an awesome truck over the years. And after all, Toyota is, I think, one of the only one or two manufacturers that actually stayed in the market when everybody else decided to get rid of the mid-sized truck. They deserve to be around, but they have to walk the walk, you know? Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Were you disappointed when you got your Toyota Tacoma? Was it less in some area than you thought it would be or should be? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, JT, all about Jeep Gladiators currently the Jeep Gladiator Mojave, and Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks or compact trucks. Right now, the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.